It leads by six. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. the second half neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters Minnesota comes into this one following a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City Hobson guarded by Green kicks it out to Stevenson the shot no good and Minnesota now the other way Now, here is Knight. Vucevic, a screen on Matthews. Raiders on the wing. Over in the corner, Green. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. A little over eager right there. Left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you've got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. Vucevic dishes to lead. Tries from 10. Uses the glass to drop it in. Lee's got the first bucket of the third here for the Timberwolves. Pass to Bush. Here's Z. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Lee sets a screen for Waiters, and the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Well, good idea setting that screen, but the execution wasn't there. No, it sure wasn't. I mean, you want it to be hard, but it also has to be legal. There's the screen. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Green kicks to Waiters. 90 seconds now into the second half. Ball is turned over. Bascovia ball. Stevenson drives in. Here's Hobson. That ball. I speed that time from Stevenson. And now a nine point Bascovia lead. And here is Knight. He's got 10 over in the corner. Lead. Inside to Vucevic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Stevenson against Knight. Back to Stevenson. Fires the three. Z the pass to Bush. It's stolen by Green. Matthews against Knight. Vucevic a screen on Matthews. Here's Knight. And again it's Minnesota. And they've made three of their first four shots here to start this half. Basconia leading by five. Matthews into the lane. Bush covered by Lee. Here's Bush. A rebound by the Timberwolves. And now with three minutes into the third quarter of play. Minnesota making some changes. Wright comes in for Vucevic. And Stauskas subbed in for Green. on the wing. He's covered by Matthews. Six to shoot. Here's Knight. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. 
no good from Lee. And Clark, they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, I think so. Too cool. I mean, just not forceful enough, not alert or aggressive enough, and sometimes trying to do too much with the basketball. Yeah, sometimes you, you just got to make the easy pass. Somebody's open, throw it to them. When you do that multiple times, the game starts to find a flow to itself. That is good. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Timberwolves trail by seven. Now Knight, 12 points for him. He feeds it to Waiters. This one for three. He had told him by Vasconi. Z's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Hobson. There's the killer two-handed slam. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Jared Dudley's checked in for Waiters. And it's Williams in for Knight. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Vittoria. Boy, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And I also like the penetration. I mean, they're getting into the paint. They're getting a lot of easy hoops from those strong drives. Shoots from the baseline. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. For Victoria, they've hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. And the second free throw, good. Timberwolves trail by ten. Williams attacking. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Quality free throw shooter a year ago, about 79%. He throw good, Lewis Williams. And Williams drops them both. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Hobson, he's guarded by Dudley. Here's Hobson, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Outside Williams. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Ran his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. And here's Matthews for the three. Vittoria with another miss. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy is too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Well, he doesn't waste too many of those chances close to the basket. And Basconia calls time. Yeah, he is none too pleased with the play of his club out there. And looks like they need a little time to get things sorted out here. I don't know of any coaches that would be too happy if they just saw their team give up a run like this one. Both teams will make substitutions. Basconia leading by four. Here is Stevenson. He has six. Puts up the baby hook. The shot is good off the backboard. Stevenson's got eight points. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Williams against Stevenson. Feeds it to Lamb. The three. And it's Williams. That time the assist from Jeremy Lamb. And it's seven points for Williams. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. They gave him a wide open look there. Outside Matthews. Diamantides the pass to Jenkins. Just five on the clock. Baseline J on the way. And again, Lance Stevenson. He's got ten. Here's Williams. He's got seven. Kicks it to right. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. 
Wright's got six points. This has really become an intense ball game ever since halftime. Boy, the effort from both teams here, Steve, is terrific. There's a good screen. Here's Stevenson. Another miss by Stevenson. Timberwolves trail by three. Out of bounds, Basconia takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Terrible turnover. Here's Jop. This one for three. And Stevenson is good for three. Stevenson's got eight points here in this quarter. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Outside Williams to the wing on the left. Dudley with a screen on Stevenson. Williams kicks to Stauskas. He dishes it to Dudley. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Here's Stevenson. 13 points in the game. Outside Matthews. Here's Diamantides. Kicks to Stevenson. To the left side wing. Here's Jenkins. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And Vasconia leads by six. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Here's Stauskas. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by Vasconi. They've led by as much as 10. 141 left to play in the third. That's a two from Matthews. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. Stevenson's got five assists in the game. Timberwolves trail by eight. Williams kicks to Lamb. Pass to right. Over in the corner, Williams. The dish to Lamb. Puts up a three. And another three for Minnesota. That's a weapon that has been working for him. He's just been living out there behind the arc. And Steve, they need it now more than ever. This is a critical juncture in this game. The pass to Diamantines. Outside Matthews. Another three. Response, retaliation, impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly that as well. Nice job to recover those three points right away. Williams dishes to Lamb. Right with a screen on Stevenson. Pass to Lamb. Fires the three. Shot is off. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebounding. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. No problem knocking that one down. And now it's a 10-point Basconia lead. 16 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Right wing. And here's Dudley for three. The shot is off. From deep three-point range and released it in time, but it's off the mark. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Masconia ahead, up 10. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter.
here's Waiters. He kicks it to Knight. Lee sets a screen for Knight. Dishes to Lee. Puts up the baby hook. That's good. Lee's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Timberwolves. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. Here's Philemon. And the layup is good. And Baskonia leads by 10. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Now here's Waiters. Defense is right there. Vucevic setting the pick for Knight. There's the feed to Green. From outside, off the mark. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Knight passes to Lee. Here's Morrow. Out left to the wing. Poked away. Hobson, headed by Green. Here's Hobson, just five on the clock. Here's Z, again, Basconia. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Lee sets a screen for Waiters. Off the screen. The shot misses. So Bastonia will take it the other way. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass tomorrow. The Lima. He's guarded by Knight. Here's Z. And he gets it to go. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Yeah, be more yeah. physical. Be more aggressive. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. Bush covered by Lee. Here's Bush. Good D by Lee. Timberwolves trail by 12. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Green, the screen. To the inside. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. And the basket by Morrow. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Now here's Waiters, guarded closely. Lee kicks to Knight. Picked by Vucevic. Knight dishes to Vucevic. The shot will not go. So Vittoria will take it the other way. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. No doubt the Sacramento fans want to see their team get the game. That's a, that's a big one for the Kings. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hobson. Great tee that time from Green. Timberwolves trail by 14. Knight passes to Waiters. And Vucevic kicks to Waiters. He feeds it to Lee. Here's Knight. Releases from the wing and drills it. Baskonia leading by 12. There's the pick. To Lima. He's guarded by Knight. Here's Hobson. And he hammers that one down right in the face of David Lee. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. And the pass to Z. 
And now Minnesota on the fast break. Here's Waiters. He had told him by Vasconi. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Inside, and he lays it straight in. He's got 21. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Lots of room. That's good on the jump shot. Waiters got four points now in the quarter. Vittoria leading by 12. Philema, he's guarded by Knight. Feeds it to Morrow. Oh, good on the triple. Well, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Here's Vucevic, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Free throw drops for Vucevic. And Basconia making a change here. Stevenson's checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Vittoria leading by 11. Here's the lob to the hoop. No hesitation at all on that alley. He saw his teammate with the path to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him. And he was ready for it, elevated, made the catch. You saw the results. And I like the, the choice, making the conservative finish, making sure of the two points. Lee, a screen on Stevenson, and the wide open shot from Green. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Stevenson with it. Now Green defending. The shot misses. Timberwolves trail by 13. And Waiters kicks to Knight. Back to Waiters. In low to Lee. And he uses the glass on the way. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. Yeah, they were getting windy. Good call here to give them a quick breather. And Victoria calls time here. Wesley Matthews checked in for Basconi. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Blatt as he addressed his team. He laid one thing out there for them, saying, now is the time to eliminate any chance of a mistake. We've got a good lead. Don't take any unnecessary risks or commit a silly foul. Smart basketball from here on out. The steal. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on David Lee. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk part coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. He can't be pleased with all these easy looks they continue to give up in the paint. They're just way too porous as a defense right now. A lot of holes in that defense. It's a good time to use the timeout here. And the Timberwolves call time. And Vasconia making a change here. Vasconia on D. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Knight with it. He dishes it to Green. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got assist number five here tonight. Now, they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, Kevin. Flip Saunders was just going over the plan with his team. The most important points they can get, he said, are points in transition. He told them to push it, create opportunities on the fast break. 
He also said he wants them going hard to the boards at both ends of the floor, not just the defensive backboards. Likely the final major changes to their game plan as they try to make a late comeback here in the fourth. Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris, thanks. Raiders against Matthews. Vucevic with the putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's 12 points for Dion Waiters. Boy, a nice tip in to salvage the points from the missed shot. And, and made it work. It did, yeah, and those second chance points, Clark, they do add up. Yes, sir. They sure do. That's why boxing out is so important. Defensively, you can't just let a guy get to the rim and uh, not put a body on him. They get it again. The kick out to Matthews. Pass to Stevenson. Here's Hobson. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. 23 points in the game. Well, they really had it going on the offensive glass in that first half, but here recently they've gotten away from that. They've got to be aggressive in attacking that offensive glass here in the second half. Knight dishes to Waiters from deep. Tries again. Here's Vucevic and can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. I'm sure he'd like that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving points at the line. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to Oklahoma City. Flowers the pass to Matthews. Stevenson drives in. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. Green with the rebound. Oh, he knows that one should have gone in. That hurts. Kicks it tonight. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. Minnesota calls timeout. They're behind by 13. 32 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Well, they can call timeouts all they want, but it's not going to do a whole lot of good at this point. Yeah, this one's about done. The writing's on the wall. There's nothing they can do to change this one. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. There's a screen. Stevenson drives in. The dish to Matthews. Z guarded by Wright. Z the pass to Matthews. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. So Vittoria wins it. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.